Hi guys, today I'm doing another prosthetics tutorial and today I'm showing you how to do a severed finger again with just wax and paint. So a simple and very quick way of doing a severed finger that is really easy to do and looks quite realistic from the front angle. So the trick to this whole tutorial is you obviously bend your finger in half and so it only works from kind of the front but it's really good for um, pictures and just a fun way to do prosthetics. So the first thing you're going to do is take a bit of wax, I'm using nose and scar wax from Ben Nye, and put it on the front of your finger, shape it into kind of a rough shape about the width of your finger, then start smoothing it into your skin, um, just smoothing the wax down um, all around, making sure it blends in with your skin so that the edges aren't detectable. And you can do this with your finger because it will heat up the wax and melt it in better to your skin. So just keep doing this until you can't see the wax line anymore. Now you're going to take the scalpel and start to rough up the top edge of the wax to make the finger look severed and like it's been cut or blown off. So just kind of create um, dips and peaks in the wax to make it look a bit more gory. You can do this as much or as little as you want to make it look less or more gory. So just go in with the scalpel, play around with it until you get it at a shape you're happy with. Then you're going to take your paints. I'm using Skin Illustrator again, but you can use whatever works best for you. And first I'm taking a red coloured paint and putting that round the top, kind of to look like blood or irritated skin. So put that all round the top of the cut. And then I'm taking a white cream colour to blend the wax into my skin colour a little bit more. And I'm just taking this down onto the lower part of the wax. And then I'm putting a little bit more of a darker red, um, this is called an aged blood red, right round the top of the wax. Now I'm taking my thick blood, so my um, scabbed blood, which is also from Ben Nye, and putting this onto the top of the cut. Um, this will just make it look a lot more realistic, like thicker blood, so kind of more three-dimensional rather than just using liquid blood. So I'm just popping this on the top of the cut, kind of putting it into the dips where I've done the wax, and just playing around with it until I'm happy with it. And this kind of just fills in all those gaps you did where the skin goes up and down. And then I'm just taking a little bit of that thick wax and kind of patting it around the um, cut. And then I'm putting a bit more red paint on just to intensify the red colour. And then I'm adding some liquid blood. So you can make this liquid blood run really far down your finger and your hand if you want it to look more gory. And it just makes the top of the cut look more wet and like it's just freshly been severed. And then just tap the blood around to make it look more realistic and that is the finished cut done send me pictures if you do try this out and i hope you enjoyed this prosthetics tutorial and i'll see you in my next video bye guys